fate has smiled on these teams once, which team will catch your eye again in this second round matchup between the Illinois Fighting Illini and the Kansas Jayhawks? This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Jayhawks are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, play it your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Second, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. And finally, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket. Grab the glass. Get after the board. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He attempts the trifecta. He hits it. Both teams looking to get things going here. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Ball handler's in trouble. Spander handles the pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. And the ball goes out of play. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to go inside. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. The Jayhawks are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Gets his first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. into a vicious screen. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They look to get it to the inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Step out on that screener. Trying to feed inside. Trying to draw the foul. Buried it. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. On the dribble, gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. Running right into the screen again. What did I say? And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Dumps it in for two and off the mark. He 
got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see that. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Fires away. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. That shot was definitely ill-advised. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Intercepted. Gave it up. He shoots from downtown. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand and not too long ago. <laughs> We're going to move it around the perimeter. Jumps in. And he scores it off the glass. He bombs from outside. He gets it to fall. Double team now, bad angle. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Steal. They move it into the front court. Gave it up. The small forward receives the pass. Defense has really stepped up. They take it over the tempo very nicely. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Puts it up looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. <laughs> Time to pick up the defense here now. He gets the shot to fall. Spander is emotionally fired up. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. The power forward receives the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And back they come the other way. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. out of bounds. He's got a high post flasher. Bryant handles the feed. Great play to take that to the basket. For the bucket, they 
still no score. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. He really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He lets it go way off target. For three. Oh, yes. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. Number 32 fakes the shot. He tries a jump hook. Kansas are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He throws it up from downtown. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. shot fake tries to get the D to bite 10 seconds on the shot clock when I hear Big 12 basketball I think tough defense half court pound the ball inside offense hey teams like Texas Kansas Oklahoma are usually on top of the standards because they can play that style Gives it up, tries for two, and in and out. He puts it in with contact and all. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error on. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Doesn't go. Both teams looking to get things going here. And he'll kick it back outside. From the top of the key, he shows the sweet touch. the screen up on top they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works the fighting Illini have a mismatch in the post they need to get him the ball there makes the block let's watch the defense down on the low block see first initially he wants a three-quarter then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. You've got that right, Brad. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Let's check in court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. All right, thanks, Aaron. work 
it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Makes it. Looking for a good shot. Ball goes out of bounds. Mike Lewis, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Takes the pass in the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates. He made the duck plus an opportunity for one. There's nothing like throwing down a duck and getting the foul. Speaking from experience there, Dick? Of course. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes it. team waiting there they get out on the break looking for the foul what do you think Dick they need a timeout here Brad great pressure great double team really explosive boy terrible execution on offense And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble. Gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. Goes in. the outside here he comes defensively on him on the low block Dick. I'm telling you three quarter position trying to deny but Bender does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball picks off the pass Two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Gets it to go. See if they can get a good shot this trip. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. For two. Goes. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. It sticks. like to get it inside to the low block. On a, he got the bucket and the foul. Hey, the foul in the air couldn't stop him, baby. He wanted that bucket. The fighting Illini go to the line for the first time in this game. Got it from the free throw line. Entry pass in the paint. The ball goes out of play. Oh, 
High post flashes for the opportunity. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Lobs it. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. There they come with a double team to stop it. the three ball nice shot Dick, a great battle down in the low post but I think the offense is gaining ground here yeah he's getting great inside position has the great angle he's got him set up perfectly for a basket they got the 45 degree angle which is essential to enter the ball to the post Working it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. Throws it up. Trying to draw some contact. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. He strokes it. He drains the shot. to see the level of energy dick when they come out of this timeout he pulls the trigger he might be on his way to a career game partner well he will brad if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry there's the pick fakes the shot looking for a screen on top and got it Moving it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the trap. Strips the ball. Two for one opportunity. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For the bucket. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Now they work it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Jumps into the defender. Knocks it down. Inside. Here's a double team from the baseline. He gets the bucket to fall. He shoots from half court off the rim and no good. At the half, the Jayhawks are up by four. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Kansas shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment, guys. Thanks, Aaron. 
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. out of bounds you start comparing these backboards dick what are your impressions so far you know well for me brad good guard play will take you a long ways if you think about teams in the past they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure attack off the dribble and distribute the ball i can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul i tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression On the outside, the power forward with the ball. Thinks about the shot. Picks off the pass. They have to start making some crisper passes, Dick. Yeah, these guys are going after everything, Brad. They're working around the arc. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. The power forward gets the pass. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. If you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And the ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. Fakes a jumper. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Illinois are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Sets the screen for his teammate. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Goes up for two and off the mark. Looking for a good shot. There's the fake. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. He makes the shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Goes up for two, and in and out. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. for two. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. The point guard takes the feed. The fake almost lost the basketball. Kansas have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here.
the dribble, gives it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The ball goes out of bounds. Coming up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. He says, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Sinks it. shooting guard takes the pass great shot he can't stay with it he's got to get some help from his teammates on D gave it up with a rejection fake hypo screen he shoots from the top of the circle nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot The power forward gets the ball. There's a double team waiting there. He cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders. That's the Mad Dog. Everybody involved. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He shoots from left of the circle. You betcha. He takes the three. Kansas are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Got a nice screen. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Up and in. This is what posters are made from. Turn around jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Shoots it. He drains it. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's a flash from the post up high. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And the ball goes out of bounds. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? High post flashes for the ball handler. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Perfectly executed. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Great play to take that to the basket. Momentary look from three-point land. Robs him of the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Up and inside. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. You're 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Gave it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. For the deuce, the Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Goes up for two. The lane. Trying to draw the foul. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Up fake. There's the trap. Jumps in. Up and in. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, waste any time. He's got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the inside, here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. He 
comes away with it. Set that screen away. Double team now, bad angle. Illinois have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. It's stolen. They work it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper from downtown. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Up it inside. Got the shot if he wants it. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. We get another look. Well, Mr. Vital, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. You're going to love these close ones, Brad. Every year is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respects that we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Pump thinks. Here's a double team. Strips the ball. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. Jumped in front to take it away. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Kicks it out. He tries the three. He nails the shot. Gave it up for two. Rims out. the dribble gives it up tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move kicks it out he fires from long range ain't no stopping him right now from the arctic you better believe it baby they're making him pay from out there the center in the paint for the deuce the land Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. That's spacing. Gave it up. Back of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. He hits the shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Nick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He shoots from the angle. Illinois are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Oh, 
for the bucket. The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. Gabby's on fire. Up fake. There's a high screen. Steele pushes it up. Puts up the shot. Good. It's a 10-point spread, Dick. Yeah, but 10 points can't be spread too thin, Brad. still hot and who's not after a timeout Dick. well you gotta think the shooters might be the most effective Brad. they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass with the jump hook Monte, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Gave it up, got an open look if he wants it. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Wow, and that stops the clock again. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Makes the second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Ten-point lead. It's as big a lead as it sounds, Brad. He looks for three. It won't fall. And yet another foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Misses the second shot. They clear the defensive rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. For two. Makes the shot. Defense giving some room. Number three is trying to get the crowd frazzled. He could be playing with fire, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. Up and inside. Ten on the shot clock. He launches a three. Gets it to go. One on the shot clock. And he misses the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. 
The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Jayhawks graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.